Alright, what is going on guys? So, six days out today. Play with me, I got that thing. But um, yeah, so fueling up for the damn uh, cross country drive we got to the gym. Whole 45 minutes away, been making the trip every day, man. Um, but yeah, so we're in for a chest and back day. It's, I should probably get going. Diesel, bro. Wait, which one? No, that's, that's gas. Oh, that's just, okay. I was just used to it because it was green. Yeah, I would do some shit like that. Um, yeah, so we're in for a chest and back day, and your boy forgot his mic, so we're doing like a little do you or a yeah do you why thing with the the mic that Hector has because I guess he doesn't have a mount, so hopefully the audio is like sustainable. Um, but yeah. I woke up today at six days out and was just thinking like, like six days out. It's, it, it, it's, I don't know. Like I'm used to just shit, you know, dragging by, but there's so much to do, so much workload that like it's making the days flow, which I cannot complain about. Hunger, not, not too crazy right now, man. I'm three meals deep, so I know the pump will be there. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm honestly just excited to get in the gym and just give put my all into these last few workouts i decided to throw a little something on the feet today so we're fucking with the infrared sixes hector and i were having a conversation the other day of like everybody got that one thing to where like they just they, they blow their money on or like one thing that's not convenient from the buy but they have like a hard time not minus shoes so like probably since like god damn bro. <laughs> 60 bucks i mean i guess i needed it. i was on e um but yeah, so like mine is shoes. So like since I was 13, 14, been obsessed with shoes. And it's always been like a um, like an internal battle because do I need to be spending two, three, four, five hundred dollars on a pair of shoes? No. Do I really love shoes and have a hard time not buying them? Yes. Um, and I've actually had these since I was like, uh, I think my grandma actually got me these when I was 12 or 13, going into eighth grade. So these definitely have some sentimental value. Um, you know, with her not being around anymore, but I, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm keeping these. I, I buy and sell a lot of my shoes, uh, you know, have them for a period of time, but these are staying in the collection. But enough rambling like I always do. Let's take our asses to the gym and crush this chest and back day, six days out. Let's get it. to show y'all this so i was talking to nathan in here the other day owner of the gym and he was showing me these bags called uh wolf pack i think that's the logo and these are actually like uh, what do you call these uh, uh, badges or right. something something like that they, they stick on velcro but he had a tie-dye one or a camo something like that but i am obsessed with this thing ask mariah like i i literally talk about it all the time like it's it's light it's like it's satisfying as fuck to put on your back like you feel like you've got a koala bear on your shit like you feel like you feel like you're getting hugged it's nice and the dopest thing about it is it has like slots for my meals so like when i'm going to shows when i'm traveling like whatever i can literally put my tupperware meals on there and plus it's just hard as fuck like look at like this bitch is a fish this bitch is official. And you can get like different, on the website they sell like the badges and patches. Patches, that's the word I was looking for. Um, and they say like, they have some that say coach, they have some that say men's physique or bodybuilding, classic physique, competitor, like shit like that. So it's definitely really customizable, but I just like, I'm obsessed with this bag, man. Like I was telling Hector, I'm, uh, I'm at that point right now where it is, draining my battery to actually talk to have a conversation um, which is like nothing personal it's just like that's how it is like I'm that tired my food is that low so I'm just gonna throw the headphones in man and just like get to work try to get in and out of here try to get my dog on his way but uh, regardless man we are in for a hell of a training session 
Sugar, my boys. Gonna knock out 15 minutes warm up cardio, hit the workout, and then knock out the rest of the hour at Planet Fitness probably. Planet Fitness, the only acceptable thing to do there is cardio and abs. Don't let me catch you doing anything else. Stack, man. It might sound silly because I had a pump cover on, was feeling this, had my tank on, then I looked in the mirror, took some pics. It did not look like it, but I feel like I'm having a tough time getting the pump today, man. Um, it's like, yeah, I have a pump. My, my cards are low, so I can look at myself and tell my pump is not exaggerated as it normally is, and that is the first time all prep, opposed to you know being in the hospital, that I kind of had an issue just in the workout and I mean that's I'm fortunate six days out and it's the first time where I'm struggling you know like that's six seven weeks out last year I was struggling so you know nothing to complain about it's a beautiful thing to have my energy have my fullness all that um, this close you know to the show that I, I will I will say man I'm feeling I'm feeling peak week uh, <laughs> Let me quit talking so much. It, it takes more energy than you guys think.
You know, like when you get like fatigued like this, it's like that's when your posing starts to slip. That's when the <laughs> light headed or not. Um, but that's when that's when posing starts to slip, fundamentals, just the things that would come more natural if you know you had your normal level of energy when your cup is kinda half full, it's just you gotta really hone in on like the details. So me I'm noticing with where I'm at right now, really keeping that that delt popping is you know, not coming as natural as it would. That's what uh, I thought you were saying. And then um, you know just my base is a little wobbly. I keep thinking about the space. Nope. You're good. Shitter, it's crazy too because not a whole lot's changed it's just been a, a little bit of drops in, in rice man just a little bit of drop in carbs but i guess i guess i mean there's a threshold between feeling great feeling okay neutral and then anything below neutral is just you know you're in the shitter you're in a deficit so like i guess i just crossed that threshold that boundary um hey yeah, guys this is this is this is the reality of what six days out so um, I'm gonna just keep pushing through do my thing man uh, you know try not to complain about it too much just keep applying pressure that's all we can that's all I can do at the end of the day man signed up for this shit so uh, six days out see y'all in the next video what is up YouTube fan y'all cannot see me at all oh. Man, oh man. Good, the bad, and the ugly. So, you can see the ugly right now. Um, last couple of days, man. So, last night, uh, started feeling pretty bad. And let me... Last couple of days, man. So Layali and Mariah have been, you know, sick. Uh, I first started with Layali, she, um, you know, been throwing up a lot. Um, and, you know, Mariah started feeling bad about two days ago, you know, just like throwing up, um, like incredible fatigue. So I'm over here thinking, man, like, dang, that's crazy that I'm not sick. Maybe they ate something, you know? But last night we went to go see Jurassic World and I just started feeling off. Um, long story short, I tossed and turned all night, felt horrible, finally threw up, and it was one of them just like violent ones that hurt a lot. Um, and then from then on, just, you know, been having this like violent diarrhea, like constantly, all day. Like I can't, I haven't been able to, uh, I actually had an off day from training, but I had 75 minutes of cardio. There's no way. I literally can barely, like, function. Like, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm going through it, man. Um, you know, just being out of bed for more than five minutes at a time is exhausting. So, safe to say I'm pretty sick. Uh, what have I been doing about it? So, you know, communicating with Alex. Still getting my meals in, thankfully. So the nausea is gone, for the most part. And let me keep my fingers crossed. Like I really hope I'm not jinxing myself saying that, but because uh, I just hate throwing up. But um, yeah, man, we're doing what we can. I've I've been able to get all my meals down. Um, I am almost. I'm about a gallon through. My gallon and a half for the day. So you know, meals water intake that's still there it's just i'm not able to do anything physical right now and i have no appetite so like that's where that's where you know something's really off if it's peak week you are 
I'm five days out and I have no appetite. I'm forcing meals down. Like, there's something going on there. But, um, yeah, just came outside for some fresh air to eat meal number five of the day. So, literally all we can do is hope for the best, do what we can, do what we can. What is going on guys? So I know y'all have not seen the kid looking like this in a minute. And let me, let me say, hopefully y'all can notice, y'all can tell, I got a new lens. I've been wanting one of these for a minute and it is way overdue. It's gonna, it's gonna be so much better for vlogging. Um, wow, like I, I keep looking at myself and I'm like, who is this dude? I've had that big ass, nasty ass beard for a minute. I've been wanting to cut that shit. Um, so yesterday, you guys got the clip of me just like miserable, miserable. A little over 24 hours later, man, and it's a different story. So like I woke up this morning feeling better but not great um and you know just kind of progressively out like throughout the day i've started to you know improve slowly slowly say so yesterday i was at 10 percent. i would say i woke up today maybe at 50 60 right now the end of the day about 8 8 30 p.m i'm sitting i would say maybe 70 percent and you know if tomorrow can be 80 percent Wednesday, I can be 90%. That puts me Thursday, Friday at 100%. Um, I can definitely tell there's a little added uh, water retention just from, I think, the total body stress and fatigue. Um, so, you know, we cut sodium a little bit earlier than planned today. Um, sorry, I'm trying to mess with the brightness. But we cut sodium a little bit earlier than planned, which is okay. Um, I think I do kind of need that more, you know, leeway time to really bring in the best physique but uh yeah man it is monday evening we leave for houston wednesday morning so uh, basically just got to get through tuesday carbs are low water is starting to taper down a little bit like i said sodium isn't there right now so uh yeah man we just working and sometimes that is all it takes is pushing through just you know driving to the gym today it was like how in the fuck am I gonna get through this training session, the 75 minutes of cardio on the Stairmaster? Like, keep in mind, like I said, I feel better, but like I in no way, shape, or form felt like I was gonna go in there and just crush that shit. But like it literally just took me throwing my headphones in, realizing what I was about to do was non-fucking negotiable, happening no matter what. So just like completely removing my feelings out of it and doing it and you know that goes back to the peak week video just like that's that's the mindset you have to have with this shit man um but yeah guys evening is wrapping up nice about to end uh the last few hours with my girls and uh i will see you guys tomorrow where we will be hitting the last training session in indy um for leave for houston man exciting shit been looking forward to this for about a year. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow.